I guess you need to know that the book came out September 5th, and I haven't returned to my country since I came here in, in 1999, and I haven't seen my grandma, and the book is dedicated to her, and this is a poem for her. To Abuelita Nelly. This is my 14th time pressing roses in fake passports. For each year, I haven't climbed Marañón trees. I'm sorry I've lied about where I was born. Today, this country chose its first black president. Maybe he changes things. I've told mom I don't want to have to choose to get married. You understand. Abuelita, I can't go back and return. There's no path to papers. I've got nothing left but dreams where I am the parakeet nest on the floor de fuego, the paper boats we made when streets flooded, or toys I buried by the foxtail ferns. Do you know the ferns I mean? The ones we planted the first birthday without my parents. I'll never be a citizen. I'll never scrub clothes with pumice stones over the big cement tub under the almond trees. Last time you called, you said, my old friends think that now I'm from some town between this bay and our estero, and that I'm a coconut, brown on the outside, white inside. Abuelita, please forgive me, but tell them they don't know shit. <laughs> so, Dad left in 1991, I was one, and then Mom left in 1994 when I turned four. So then I grew up with my grandparents, and my parents kept promising that they were going to bring me, they were going to send for me soon, soon, and that never happened until I turned nine. But for a kid, you know, years are super long, so this is a meditation on that. It's called the Bod. I'll be back soon, mijo. But in our windows, still no glass. Where raindrops hit the sill, they touch my skin like her eyes did that morning, she said. I'll be back soon, mijo. After the rains, too many mosquitoes. So the clinic sent uniformed men who sprayed a thick fog meant to kill larvae. We covered bowls, pans, pots, and bottles, washed them by hand. But Abuelita still accidentally broke my milk bottle, so I would stop asking for mom. No glass in our windows. I know she won't return. I've memorized the names of roads I can't pronounce, far from these volcanoes that know what toys I don't let friends touch and in which drawer I keep the letters mom has sent me. I touch the larvae growing in old tires in our backyard. I know she won't return. Abuelita hid my letters with addresses I can't pronounce, so I would stop asking her to read them to me every night under this terracotta roof, under this candlelight. And I was a weird kid. I, I didn't stop drinking milk from a milk bottle until I was like six. I don't know what that's about. I haven't read them. So that's true. Um, let's see what else have I read. Well, we go to the war. Look at this. Okay. So I got a review which I hated because they thought that the, my grandpa, they called him a gangster. My grandpa was not a gangster. I think they've been watching too many narcos because in the book I called him Don Chepe. But in Latino culture, Don is just a sign of respect. So I hate, I hate whoever wrote that. <laughs> Clearly, they didn't understand the book. But um, yeah, this is a poem about Don Chepe. So he's not a gangster. He was in the military. Don Chepe. The war is or isn't over, but coffee still brews. Sugar keeps vanishing. He's burned his uniform and never wears boots. His daughters break mirrors on him to save their mother when he returns waking neighbors, waking his grandson. His hammock is wet. So are his pants. The parakeet, a wind-up clock. His daughters in nightgowns, his grandson in their arms. His 
Black boots don't make towns flee anymore. Don has always been the wrong word. Redacted addresses, 38s, clips in back pockets. To see how many he'll kill, his grandson throws rocks at tadpoles. One by one, his daughters leave. Don has always been what his wife didn't know how to wash from uniforms. His grandson is asked to fetch vodka when Don tries to forget the still opened eyes. Not even that wakes him. No one can cover mirrors in time. No one can find the scorpion in their shoes. From there I go. This one. They're related. I'm a huge fan of tequila and gin, but during dark times it gets me to a bad spot. So this is, I think, not a lot of people acknowledge what an immigration story or having after going going through like crossing the border what that does to the psyche and depression is a big part of that. And this is just a reminiscence of that. It's called Nocturne. That was funny, it started with the bod, now Nocturne. Day, night. Um, nocturne. Tomorrow won't be the same. Each step farther from the border. Gin and tonics. Tequila grapefruits. I threw that black mug at your face after gin, after tequila. I'm sorry. I drank too much. I drank too much, I know. It wasn't me who threw it, I said, but it was. I was four. I saw mom between grandpa's gun and grandma. I was four. He chased every single one of his daughters with his machete in the middle of the day, in the middle of the night. I didn't know what to do except climb the water tower across the street with Red Power Ranger. He's chased us to this country that trained him to stay quiet when his boss put prisoners in black bags, then pushed them from the truck for everyone to see what happens to bad people here. Gin, straight up, tequila shots. No one understands why Abuelita never left him. It's mid-June, Venus and Mars the closest they've been in 2,000 years, but I have never seen grandparents hug or hold hands. I make an excuse. You kept rubbing your hands. When I turned six, Grandpa quit drinking. He stayed at home at night, but never talked to us. He didn't like gin, <coughs> didn't like writers, didn't like leftists. Everyone gone except one cousin. You're not here. Tomorrow, tampoco. These walls snore like grandpa's lured shouts. I thought the border would take him. All oh, my aunts, my mom thought so too. We are all running from the sun on his machete, the moon on his gun. I watched an old Russian film where the steps of Odessa, any film buffs here? So it's like the first montage ever shot. And it's like this beautiful, like black and white Russian and like people are running down the steps. That was copied in The Untouchables. So it's like this whole idea of like going down the steps. So I copied that form on the page. So the stances look like steps. And the title is Montage with Mangoes, Volcano, and Flooded Streets. I helped Abuelita pluck the white flor de sote from stems to put in the bowl, to then drop in the pan, to mix with eggs. There's no way mom, younger than I am now, and in California like I am now, there's no way she knew my technique. Grab stalk and pull toward belly, bowl between legs, petals like rice from open burlap. I'm older than dad then, for the longest time, I wanted to, to throw rocks at fruit bats, wanted to run out of the kitchen to climb the big mango tree, branch by branch, up six meters, to watch the volcano's peak fit in my hand. Lie to me. 
Say I can't go back. Say I've created smoke and no rain. It's almost 20 years and still I can't keep mangoes from falling six meters down to where dogs lick what my aunts, mom, dad, and I still cannot. And, and let's go to the border. So then after growing up, I came here when I was nine. The trip was supposed to take two two weeks. It ended up taking two months because the coyote left us in southern Mexico. And then me and seven others, which then eventually turned into like 50 others at the border, we tried um, three, three times to make it across the Sonoran Desert. It's a desert, and one of the times we ran out of water. And there's, if you're familiar with the Southwest, there's this huge cactus, Sawatos, and they have a lot of water inside of them. So this is based on one of those instances. Sawaros. It was dusk for kilometers and bats in the lavender sky. Like spiders, when a fly is caught, began to appear. And there, not the promised land, but barbed wire and barbed wire with nothing growing under it. I try to fly that dusk after a bat said, La sangre del saguaro no seduce. Sometimes I wake and my throat is dry. So I drive to botanical gardens to search for red fruits at the top of saguaros, the ones at dusk I threw rocks at for the sake of hunger. But I never find them here. These bats speak English only. Sometimes in my car, that viscous red syrup clings to my throat and I have to pull over. I also scraped needles first, then carved those tall torsos for water, then spotlights drove me and 30 others dashing into Palo Verdes. Green striped trucks surrounded us and our empty bottles rattled. When the trucks left, a cold cell swallowed us. I'll end with this poem that I end every reading with. I always start my readings with the same poem and end it with the same poem. I don't know what I'm reading between. But this is a poem I wrote during another dark time uh, when I thought that the only time that I was going to go back to El Salvador was in a coffin, which is the reality for a lot of immigrants here. And in this poem, uh, you have to know that Estero de Jaltepec is the bay where I come from. Como Tu is a poem by Roque Dalton that influenced me a lot. And there's a lot of Spanish at the end, and those are just flowers. So thank you for listening. Instructions for my funeral. Don't burn me in no steel furnace. Burn me in Abuelita's garden. Wrap me in blue, white, and blue. A la mierda patriotismo. <coughs> Douse me in the cheapest gin. Whatever you do, don't judge my home. Cut my bones with a machete till I'm fine as dust. Wrap my pito in panties so I dream of pisar. Please, no priests, no flowers, no crosses. Steal a flask and stash me inside. Blast music, dress to impress. Please be drunk, miss work, y pisen otra vez. Bust out the drums, the army strums. Bust out the guitars, guerrero strummed. And listen to the war inside, please. No America mierdas. Caruse the procession, dancing to the pier. Moor me in a motorboat. De veras que se una lancha. Driven by a nine-year-old son of a fisherman. Scud to the center of the Cerro de Jaltepec. Read como tú and toss pieces of bread. As the motorboat circles, open the flask. So I'm breathed like a jacaranda, like a flor de mayo, like an alcatraz. Then forget me and let me drift. Gracias.